Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is J-Mac. Today we're back with another video, back on the box opening. Today we have got Box Wars number 10, I believe. I believe we're on number 10. Um, yeah, we're kind of a month overdue. Um, and I completely did a February, I promise. I had a February one, but the footage cropped it. And I have no idea what the heck I got anyway so we're gonna move on to March from there I don't think I got anything of importance to be honest with you I can't really remember I remember getting a sweet selections auto of Liam Foodie but I think that was the best card um out of the whole bunch so um it really wasn't anything spectacular out of both boxes too um and yeah I can't really honestly remember anything else but yeah we're gonna go into the boom box here we're gonna start off with the boom box um then we'll do the wax box and then I have a special surprise at the end we have got a third contestant here in box wars that we've just recently um indulged into so we're gonna go with the boom box first we'll get that done and then we'll go to the wax box and then we'll end off with the special contestant and yeah let's go ahead and get right into box wars number 10. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at March's Platinum Hockey Boombox. And when I was looking at this online, it kind of messed me up a little bit because I wasn't sure what I was looking at. But so we start off, we got 22, 23 artifacts, 21, 22 artifacts, 21, 22 synergy. Um, and if you get and you get one of the packs from each line below as a bonus, um, you get 2021 20, trilogy or 1819 SBA or 1920 SBA or 1920 trilogy or 2021 artifacts um, as one. That's one of the, you can get one of those from this boom box. 1617 Fleer or 1920 21 or 1920 trilogy or 1920 lore. 2021 or sorry 21 22 Skybox metal or 2021 Skybox metal. Um, and then 2021 Synergy or 2021 SPA. Obviously, we're going to be looking for 2021 SPA. And I did see the first pack of the box. Um, by the way, um, breakdown details on the website under the description. So if you are interested in that. Um, then you get your hits. And then we have a Baneer promo where you can get a Baneer's autograph puck. That's actually a really good player to get right now. He's on fire this season. So that's a good one to get. But, oops. Um, so, first off, we have our one touch here. We have a 35 point, which is actually a nice one to get. And then we have our packs. And I did see something that I really like, which is an extra pack. And it's actually one of my favorites. So, I'm going to kind of look at our thing here and see what one we get. So, we got 2021 SPA. So, that beat out 2021 Synergy. Yeah, 2021 Synergy. And then we got 2122 Skybox, which beat out 2021 Skybox. And then we got 1920 Trilogy, which beat out 1617 Fleer or 1920 Allure, which I love Allure, but we'll take a Trilogy. That's fine. Um, 1920 SPA, which beat out all those packs on the top there. So we got 1920 SPA. So it beat Trilogy Artifacts, the other SPA or Trilogy again. Um, and then we got 2122 trilogy and then we also got 21 22 22 23 and then we have credentials uh those are artifacts by the way and then we got credentials which is actually one of my favorite products i've been waiting dying dying for 21 22 credentials to come out and it hasn't yet so we're gonna go ahead and put these in order we're gonna go ahead and open them and hopefully we get some good luck out of this weird march platinum boombox hockey box so let's go ahead and see what we can get in these packs all right, let's start off with 2122 Synergy here with Patrick Kane, the brand new New York Ranger. Um, as of this recording last night, he did score his first goal with the Rangers, took him three games, but scored in the power play, so that's not too bad. All right, starting off, we got a red Duhame, Brandon Duhame, and then we got exceptional phenoms of Aaron Ekblad. This one's number three, 26 of 499, so that's the red version. And then we got a rookie journey of Quinn Byfield. This is a gold version, number 99. That's actually not a bad pull. Um, rookie journey of Quinn Byfield. These are actually pretty nice. These ones aren't too bad. So, um, yeah, I do like the look of, like, the foil kind of look. So, yeah, there's Quinn Byfield rookie journey to 99. So that's not bad at all. It was kind of close to the number 235. He wears number 55. So, uh, almost. 2122 artifacts. Let's see if we can get anything good from this. Um, hopefully we can get like some kind of auto or something. That would be nice. Um, so let's start in the back. We got a Jason Zucker in the back here. Um, and then a decoy. My decoy pile's piling up, by the way. I just saved them. Um, Kim Atkinson 
William Nylander. And why do I always pull this guy? This is my second one. Igor Sokolov, rookie, redemption, I believe. Yeah, he's a redemption. Um, Igor Sokolov, Artifacts Rookies, number 319 of 999. Not a terrible, terrible name, but not a fantastic name. So there's an Igor Sokolov, um, Artifacts Rookies. Hopefully 22-23 can do better for us. Um, if you saw my two box openings, you could see that we didn't do fantastic in those. But hopefully we can change that today. So let's start in the back. We got a Gino Malkin in the back. Um, then we got our Decoy. Um, then we got a Jack Roslovic. Oh, God. We have an Orem. Oh, yo, yo, we do. Uh, caught a heart and an Orem. Marie, Ricky Rantanen. Yeah, there we go. I couldn't say his name. Miko Rantanen. Uh, Artifact Orem. Um, obviously, it's a uh, scratch off, but that's a quote unquote hit according to Upper Deck. So there is an Orem of Miko Rantanen. Ranting in 2122 Skybox. Um, I really wish it was actually 2021. That seemed to be a better product compared to uh, 2122. And how did I know that we were going to get that card? Are you kidding? Is it that beat up? Oh my God. Um, They're all facing. Oh, never mind. I was going to say they're all facing the right way. Holy crap. Look at that. Is that cut off really bad? Um, Brent Burns. Uh, Nate McKinnon, we got Grubauer there. Um, we got, oh god, these are all every which way. Um, we got Point, Sid, we got uh, Dano. Oh my god, look at that thing, huh? Oh my gosh, and it's a Kaprizov, a freaking course. Kaprizov, look at that. God, how bad do you have to mess that up? This one's a Grubauer, by the way. Good lord. Well, that literally is not even salvageable. I've seen horrible um, quality control with the Cheddar cards. Um, but yeah, there's not really much more you can say about it. So here's a... Uh, someone who looks like a mouse took a bite out of this one. So there's a Kaprizov. <sighs> the Cheddar. There we go. Hey, I found the other piece. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I fell out of the pack. That's so funny. Hold on a second. Let's. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, yeah, there it is. 10 out of 10. Um, graded, right? Uh, PSA 10. Um, yeah, there it is. You gotta love it. All right, 1920 Trilogy. Um, I do have plans to open up a box of this. I never opened up 1920 Trilogy before. Ooh. That's nice. That's something I want to see. We're saving it. I'm sorry, boys. We're gonna save it. That's a... That's a thick boy right there. That's a thick boy. We are going to save that until the end of the boom box. So let's go on to 2021 SPA. And let's see if we can do good in this one. So I um, forgot to be able to tell. Oh, it's just a uh, retro. So let's see. We got Vasilevsky in the back along with Hurdle. And let's see. Ottersley, Keith Yandel. And a Ryan Getzlaff retro. So there's a Getzlaff. Happily retired now, Getzlaff. So there is that. 1920 SPA. I also have plans of opening up a box of this as well. I do like SPA. Well, at least I like 1920 products, to be honest with you. Like 1920 products are probably my favorite. We got a Spectrum here. Yeah, they're probably my favorite. We got a Vlad Tarasenko. Then we got a Kyle Terrace, a Logan Couture, Miro Heiskanen. And a Austin Matthews uh, Spectrum FX. That's actually not a bad one. So there's a Matthews uh, Spectrum FX. So that's a very nice one there. Mr. Mustache himself, the Arizona man. There he is. Oh. No, I don't think so. I was checking to see if um, there is a uh, steel wheels in here. But 1920 credentials. Opening up the last pack here. Um, no, we don't. Okay. I was interested, but... I forget what the chances of an autograph are in here. I think they're one every box. But um, yeah, this is probably my favorite product. I do love it. Um, Nate Mack in the back. And then we got a Ryan Getzlaff again. So there's Getzlaff. Um, Mark andre Fleury. We got an Elias. That's really nice. Um, and then we got a Rookie Science, I believe. And it's a Nick Suzuki. 
That's not bad. Wish it was auto. That would have been sick. Nick Suzuki, rookie science auto. And then we got one more in the back here. It's a rookie ticket. It's a red. I forgot. Number to 99. It's an oiler. Um, number 20. Um, jo Joaquin Nygaard. I forgot about that name. Joaquin Nygaard, debut ticket access. Number to 99. Number 13. 13 of 99, so that's not a bad one. Um, I don't know what's up with Noki, Yoki Nygaard. If any Oilers fans can help me out, I would appreciate it, but I haven't seen him in a while. But um, what, what position is he? Left winger? Yeah, I'm not too sure about Nygaard. So, um, yeah, there's a rookie ticket access, red number 99 of Joaquin Nygaard. So there is that. Now it's time for the patch. Sorry, I had to um, let that ride out a little bit, so... Let's check in the back here. First, we have a Ryan Lindgren, um, rookie renditions numbered uh, 15 of 799. So there's a Ryan Lindgren, currently injured Ryan Lindgren, by the way. Um, and then we have another one in the back here, Caden Fulcher, red color match there, number 440 of 799. So it's a nice color match right there. If this is a decoy, I'm gonna be, oh, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. <sighs> you got me. Fudge. Damn it. Brock Besser. And then Nathan Bastion. Rookie renditions. And that. Uh, that ends off the boom box. Alright, we are now back with the Wax Box Hockey Elite box here. We're going to go ahead and open this one now. This box, two out of three. And like I said, the three will be at the end. Still haven't even received it yet. I've been having a tough time receiving things. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if I'm going to release this before or after a couple of boxes that are supposed to be coming in. But I got delayed shipping on those. So, um, yeah. The, I'll either be releasing box wars before them or after. Or I'll try and get them whenever the other box comes in. Or whenever these boxes come in. But I'm um, having trouble shipping on weird, weirdly enough. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's go and head to box two of the wax box hockey elite club seven packs one graded card so let's get right into it let's do it boys all right let's go ahead and see what we have in here we'll take out the padding so here is the graded card very nice there and here are the packs right in here so let's go ahead and take it out and let's see what we got here so we'll put the graded card off to the side and we'll put these styrofoam in the trash um all right so let's see what we got here so we start off with 18 19 sba we got 2021 sba we got 21 22 synergy i was gonna say it feels like a thick pack but it's not uh 22 23 artifacts we got 21 22 metal universe 2021 opg and we got 13 14 prism very nice there so we'll save that for the end uh, i do like that so let's go and get these in order and we will open them up and get to the graded card and then we will See you back for box number three. But yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's start off with 21-22 Synergy. Uh, seems to be the one that we start off with the most often. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we start right off. We got R2 Rua Salainen, uh, rookie here. Uh, and these ones are just not a bounty. So there's that. Uh, we got a Jasper Weatherby FX rookie. Purple number 174 of 275. And then we got one of these stars. Yeah, star of the show. We got a Patrick Kane. So the man on the cover of this box. So we got that. And yeah, there's that. 21-22 Skybox Metal Universe. A uh, little bit lower end now compared to 2021, obviously. If you saw, uh, well, you obviously saw it. But uh, the Cheddar card that we got was pretty bust it up but um it looks like they're all facing the same way oh nope there's so many inside that aren't but uh, we'll figure that out i guess uh phil grubauer we got a tyler toffoli oh so we got a jamie drysdale 97 98 i don't understand why these packs are like this kaprizov we got a he sheer my boy and then we got uh joe pavelski which has some wear right there that's weird um oh and this one too mason mctavish okay so i guess that's a little bit of a rustic look that they went for and then we got a 97 98 jamie drysdale um he's not a rookie in this year so um right 20 is he a rookie in this year no 2021 so he's no he wasn't so 2021 he was rookie so yeah there's a jamie drysdale 
um, 97, 98 retro. So there's that. 22, 23 artifacts now. We have a thick pack here. Let's see if it's a decoy. No, it's not. All right. So we don't have a um, uh, decoy in here. That's very nice. All right. So let's see. Um, only one card here to the back. So let's see. We got a Marit Cider um, base there along with Patrick Kane. And then we got a Ryan Pollock. And let's see what this thick card is. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. It's purple. Does a purple mean it's um it's a patch, right? Not an autograph, but a patch. Jersey patch, dual patch, I can't remember. Number to 49. Number 13. I can't remember who that is for the life of me. Oh, it's a Kent Johnson. That's fantastic. Ken Johnson dual patch number 12 of 49. He's oh, he's one off number. Oh, darn. Ah, of course, that's all right, though. That's a really nice card. Dual patch of Ken Johnson, a really good rookie. Um, yeah, was it worn by the feature player? So, yeah, I'm not surprised, but nice dual patch there of Ken Johnson. So, in the two, uh, what it was it 21 22 where we got the dual patch of McDavid, and now 22 23, we get a dual patch of Ken Johnson. So um artifacts has been treating me really well so that's a very nice hit there i wish it was autographed but i'll take it i knew it was a patch or a tool patch but yeah kent johnson very very nice there 2021 platinum now i was deciding whether to do the platinum or the um, artifacts um next but i decided to do the um artifacts first instead of it so uh let's see here we got a matt Zuccarello. we got a rainbow card here tyler sagan and then nick schmoff's rainbow and a Nico Hesher, my boy. 18-19 SPA, and this is a pretty thick pack as well. It's a decoy, though. That would have been something else. Um, I remember in 1920, I had really good luck with pulling patches. I don't know why, but um, yeah. So let's see here. I can't tell too much, but um, let's see. We got a Charlie McAvoy in the back, along with a patch of Kane again in the back. Let's go ahead and do that. I saved my decoys. I don't know why. Um, that's just like a moments kind of thing. Uh, Vander Kane. Then we got an Anders Lee. Could be a sign of the times. Oh, no. It's authentic moments. Yeah. That's what I figured. Eric Stahl. Authentic moments. Uh, 400th career goal. So there is that for Eric Stahl. Nine, or, yeah, 19. 2021 SBA now. Let's go ahead and see what 2021 SBA is can bring us hopefully we can oh, i can already tell it's a spectrum that's unfortunate yeah okay let's see shifley then we got a theodore in the back as well hamilton mantha and at least it's a future watch spectrum kevin ball future watch spectrum so that's not terrible uh level one uh kevin ball is not bad um i think he's been playing on and off for the devils this year actually i think he's been a mainstay for them right um i've seen, only seen a few devils games and he's been playing there but there's a future watch spectrum fx of kevin ball so that's not terrible that's not terrible 13 14 prism we're gonna end off with that one with the pinini product to end it off i really wish pinini came out with more products for hockey but uh licensing kind of sucks for them so um, a little bit sticky here so um let's see what we yeah, it doesn't look like we have a numbered card here, so we'll just go right through it, I guess. We got an Azam Kadri in the front, Lubunir Viznovsky, okay. Uh, we got a Cam Ward. It could just be a base pack. I feel like it could be. Uh, we got a Patrick Sharp, which it might be. Yeah, it is. Drew Doughty and, oh, Danny DeKaiser rookie. So at least we got a rookie there. So um, there's a Danny DeKaiser. Uh, was a very stout defensive player for detroit i think he was last put on waivers by detroit can't remember too much but um he doesn't play for them anymore from what i remember so there's a danny DeKaiser rookie um at least got a rookie in the box so that's not too bad all right now the graded card let's see what we can get in the graded card and don't worry i won't be opening like this order once the uh, last box comes in just because it hasn't come in yet that's the only reason why but um is this psa slab it is a PSA slab. Oh, wow. It's my first PSA slab. I've never submitted to PSA before. I've only physically submitted to MNT, but um, I would like to submit to Beckett at some point. But um, let's see what PSA can give us. 19, upper 
deck. It must be a Young Guns. Carter Verhage Young Guns? Okay. That's not bad. What's the grade? Nine? All right. Uh, Carter Verhage Young Guns. Okay. I can't be mad at that. Um, for Carter Verhage, uh, very decent with Florida. Or, sorry, he's very decent with Tampa. Got a good chance in Florida, and he's taken it, and he's run with it. Um, I do have a rookie patch auto of Carter Verhage as well. Um, I do like him. He's um, a very two-way-ish forward. He can score when you need him to. But yeah, there's a Carter Verhage um, M&T 9, or sorry, Mint 9 um, from PSA. That's actually a nice one to get. PSA of Carter Verhage. I wonder what the gradings are like because I'm looking. The corners look... That one looks a little bit iffy and maybe that one on the line, but lineup looks okay and the back so yeah that one looks a little oh there we go there's another one right there so i'm gonna assume edging and probably corners was an issue on this but not bad so we'll take the card of Hagee. so there's a card of Hagee young guns uh gem mint no, or not a gem mint it's a mint nine so uh there is that i feel like if you break this you get a 9.5 fruit packet but um we'll take it we'll take the uh card of Hagee young guns so um now we'll get to the last box of box wars all right guys we're here with the final product of box wars i told you there was going to be a surprise we got a new one here uh new competition competition new competitor today we have got the hockey packet from offside cards uh they just released this last month i believe um very cheap very very cheap um you have five sealed packs in here um, which is a mix between hobby and retail, uh, very cheap, 40 bucks us, which is crazy. So I got two of them. Um, so we're going to put this in competition with the other two. Uh, I love the boxing already. The boxing is fantastic. And then here's the backside again, great boxing. Um, there's their socials. If you uh, are very interested in checking this out yourself, but we're going to open it up here. This is the first time I've seen the packet. Uh, they had a little bit of delay in shipping, but, uh, there's no big deal here. Um, I'm just excited. We will bring this in monthly to comp uh, compete with the wax box and the boom box. So we have the hockey packet from offside cards. We're going to go ahead and rip into this. We'll combine them together. We'll open the first box together and then we'll just work our way to the next box. But we'll open all the packs at the same time. So let's go ahead and get into the hockey packet from offside cards. All right. I think you're supposed to open it like this, but I also don't think it matters. All right. So I'm very impressed with the packing already. That's great. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. So, just pulling out the pack. So, I'm very impressed with the packing. Um, very non-cheesy, and it's very organized. So, um, we will open up the second one, and we will see what we have for packs in both boxes. All right, we have all the packs taken out here. So, we have 10 packs here. We should have at least 10 packs. Uh, so, start off, we got Retail of 2122 Artifacts. Very interesting there. We got 0809 um series two i believe this is a hobby pack uh we got 2122 series one retail we got 2122 extended hobby i believe i believe this is hobby yeah it's hobby uh, and then we got ahl uh what year is this 1819 ahl okay uh, and then we got 2122 series one hobby we got another 2122 artifacts retail uh another series two hobby uh, 2122 Series 1 Retail Extended Hobby, and then another AHL pack and another hobby. So, um, we're gonna put these all together. They're not the most exciting packs, don't get me wrong, but it's still a decent bang for your buck, especially if you're looking for decent young guns. So, we're gonna open these up and we will see how we do with these. So, sit back, relax, and let's go for it. All right, so we basically have two of everything. So, let's go and get right into AHL. We'll start with that one first. Um, we have two of these, so. If it gets too much to be two, I'll cut down to one, but for the value, for $40 uh, a box, I know you get like half retail, but um, it's not too bad of a deal. So let's see, we got a Chris Brigas, uh Trevor Murphy, we got a Ryan Murphy, a Brett Sutter, the former captain, team leaders of Hendrik Borgstrom, so there's a uh, team leaders there of Borgstrom, so that's not too bad, Alexander uh, Elaine, uh, Mark McNeil, and a Brennan Gooley. In the second pack of AHL for 1819. It's actually the first time I've opened up 1819 um, 
AHL. Let's see, we have Tyler Sakura. We got an Eric Condro. I'm going to remember some of these names. Uh, Ray Boucher. We got another team leaders. Next one's Nick Lappin. I don't even think he's in the league anymore. I haven't, unless he's still sitting in um, the AHL, but I haven't heard of Nick Lappin in a long time. So there's Nick Lappin. And then we got uh, Cameron Hebig. Uh, he big, sorry. Uh, Julian Gauthier. And then we got Michael McLeod and a Vili Huso. So three very decent names there. And Gauthier, McLeod, and Huso. 21-22 Artifact Retail. I probably should have started off with this one first, to be honest with you. There's not too much that you can get in Artifact Retail. I don't know how, like, these more recent Artifacts boxes are, but... Um, I know you can get stuck here with basically a bunch of base. So we got a Landis Cog, Jones, Kubalik. It's not a, oh, it is. A, it's a copper parallel, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's just not numbered. So uh, there's a copper parallel of Kubalik and then Shabbat and Bergeron. I think that's actually like a rose gold. I think that's what they call it. But uh, let's go ahead and see what this one has, which I think we're sending in the same pack here. Uh, we got a Tuke. We got a Bohorvat. And it's a Jeremy Swayman rookie. I'll take it. Uh, Jeremy Swayman rookie copper, or sorry, rose gold. So I'll definitely take that. That's definitely not an issue for me. So um, I'll take that for sure. So there's a Swayman rookie. That's somebody I definitely collect. Uh, Suzuki and Kempe. 21-22 Series 1. Yeah, Series 1 retail. So obviously we're looking for the young guns in this one. We're looking for uh, Caulfield. No, yeah, Caulfield. Um, looking for Swayman. So let's go and see what we got here. Uh, let's see, Lafreniere, we got a Greenway, we got a Patrick Hornquist, uh, Sam Girard, Dylan Strom, Cal Peterson, Nemestikov, and a Ferraro. And the second pack, so yeah, you can get obviously base packs in this, so let's see what we can get in this one. Um, it looks like a headshot of somebody. Keith Yandel, we got a Thomas Hurdle. Uh, Tyler Myers. Oh, there's Young Guns. Okay. Kyle Burrow's Young Guns. So that's not a great one. We got a Felino, Skinner, Robertson, and Zucker. Um, yeah, Kyle Burrow's is not a fantastic one, but it's Young Guns not the less. So at least we can just take that from there. So there's a Kyle Burrow's Young Guns from there. 2021 Extended. Um, Kalia is basically the only good one from this year. I forget if anybody rose or not. Oh my goodness, this product's been out for only like a year and a half. Oh my goodness, that's not good. All right, um, I forgot, is that... Mm, I don't remember what Young Goods look like, I can't lie to you, I don't think so. Uh, let's see, Van Reemsdyke, we got a Dreisaitl, James Reimer, uh, Ian Cole, a Tyler Mott. I'm checking to see if it's um, a um, French, because these are hobby packs, so... Um, did we get a base pack? Did we really get a base pack? Tyler Mott, yeah, not a French variant. Sidorov and the checklist of Dreisaitl and uh, McDavid. That's surprising coming from a hobby pack. I really didn't expect that. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we got in this one. Let's take a peek. Uh, looks like we have a uh, what I forget what they call them, but uh, it's a holographics maybe. Uh, let's see. We got a Nino. We got Arvidsson. No, Brad Richardson, Jesus. Uh, Peron, get to Donov, Corey Schneider, Oimata, Kyle Terris, and Connor McMichael Holographics. So I was right. I'm surprised myself. Uh, Connor McMichael Holographics. So just one of their basic inserts for extended. So there is that. 21 22 Hobby Series 1. Again, we're looking for Caulfield, Swayman, those rookies. Uh, I never pulled a Swayman, I had to actually trade for one. Um, and we have a Young Guns here, so let's go ahead and put it in the back. Uh, let's see, we got a Nick Schmaltz. Then we got a John Carlson, if I can get him all done. David Perron, Charlie Coyle, Brent Burns, Alex Kerfoot. Uh, that's a Penguin, isn't it? No, nah, it's not a Bruin, unless it's Steen, but I'm pretty sure it's a Penguin. Mark Shifley. It is a penguin. Ah, uh, forget his name. Why do I forget his name? Oh, yeah, Redeem Zorna. That's right. Redeem Zorna, Young Gun. So, at least we get another Young Guns here, so that's not bad. Redeem Zorna. Um, I think he's back in check, but I'm not 100%. But, yeah, there's a Redeem Zorna, Young Gun. So, there's that. All right, second uh, pack of Series 1. And it looks like we have a Young Guns canvas. No, I'm mistaken. I have no idea what that is. 
Uh, is that a young gun? Yeah, it's a young gun. All right, so we got a young gun, so at least we got that. All right, uh, let's see. We got a Jake Allen. The red kind of confused me for a second. Adam Fox, Tarasenko, Dadonov, Checklist of Robertson and Kaprizov, uh, Devon Taves, Jake DeBrusque, and the young guns is, I forget these people sometimes, number 90. Oh, Valeno? Yeah, Joe Valeno. Okay, that's not a terrible one. Joe Valeno, young guns. Um, forgot about him. Uh, yeah, Joe Valeno, he's been cracking the top nine for Detroit, and especially since they're starting to slip a little bit, he's been getting more ice time. So there is a Joe Valeno. He was one of the top five rookies coming out of his draft class, and he just really never truly panned out to what he could be. Um, how old is he? 2000? That makes him 23, 23-ish. So he's still got time, but um, yeah, I mean, he could be a top six centerman at some point, so... Yeah, there is a Joe Valeno um, Young Gun, so that's not a bad Young Guns there. So there's a Joe Valeno there. All right, 0809 Series 2 to end off the two boxes of, uh, good Lord, offsides hockey packet. So um, I don't know how to find Young Guns. I haven't opened this product in forever. So let's go ahead and just see what we have. So we have actually my favorite design, Chris Higgins. Um, I do like this design a lot. Uh, we got Tony Lydman, okay. Amir Slav Shatan, awesome. Oh, sweet, nice. We got a young ones. Oh, I know who this is. Um, Pierre Luc Letourneau Lalonde, yeah, P Triple L, um, young guns. So obviously he didn't really pan out too much, but he's a big boy. Um, obviously he uh, he ranked fifth or first in the AHL for penalty minutes um, for his team. Um, 98 penalty minutes in 36 games. So he's a big boy. But, hey, we pulled the Young Guns from there, so uh, very nice. So that's a P-Triple-L Young Guns there. I like to see that. And then we got a Tyler Sloan Victory Rookie. So there is a Victory Rookie, rookie of Tyler Sloan. Uh, Mark Streit uh, Victory card here. And then we got a Jonas Hiller and a Jarrett Stoll. Actually, funny story. I have a one-of-one, one, um, and it's actually Jarrett Bull, uh one-of-one. One. Just his base, like when Upper Deck did that whole thing. Um, so let's see what we got. We got David Backus. Uh, we got a Wayne, Dwayne Rolson. We got a Derek Morris. And we got a Tales of the Cup of the Moose. Mark Messier, 94 Stanley Cup winner there. Uh, we got an Andrew Brunette, my favorite wild, actually. I love him. Uh, victory card here. We got a Hal Gill, Marco Sturm, and a Wade Redden victory card to end off offside cards hockey packet. All right, guys, there has been Box Wars, I believe, 11. Don't quote me, but that is Box Wars number, insert number here. Starting off with the Boom Box, it was definitely a little weak. Um, we didn't have too terrible of cards, but um, definitely not fantastic of a box. So I can't really say that we actually, uh, yeah, the, the cheddar cheese. Um, can't really say that we came out as bandits in this one because we did just okay. And then we can do offside cards next. Um, let me guys know what you think about this because I'm ready to get my monthly subscription going to this. We got a few young guns along the way, so it's definitely not a bad bang for your buck. Um, you can get some really good cards in this. And finally, we can end off with the wax box here, which the wax box, in my opinion, was the clear winner. And the only why, reason why it was the winner is because of the Kent Johnson dual patch. And then we got those two as well. And don't forget, we also got the uh, mint nine graded Cardiver Hagee from PSA as well. But this seems to be the winner. This is a great card, number 49, uh, one office jersey number. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, if you want me to include offside cards in Box Wars, I will totally do that. Give it a little more competition for all three of them so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching take care have fun and this is such a nice card to look at the dual patch so it's a good rookie too so very appreciative of that